to cook some dipped. Facebook's having issues, I think, tonight. Facebook dropped me there for a minute. It looks like I'm back on now. I can't find you yet on here. Oh. Am I there? Anybody coming in? I don't see anybody coming in yet. Maybe it's there they are. There they're coming okay, in now. Okay. Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay. Woo, I was scared for a second. Hey, everybody, come on in. We Tonight we are cooking deer chili. By request, several of you have asked that, uh, a deer chili recipe. We're going to cook it uh, kind of mild tonight, but uh, I'll give you all the instructions on whether you want to spruce it up a little bit. Hi, Patty. Deborah's here. Glad to see everybody coming in. Hello, Deborah. And there's Rhonda. Terry Glad says to... hello, Mr. T. Hey, Terry. Terry, is that Terry Han Hamrick? Yeah. Marjorie's here. Vicki Applegate just came in. Glad to see you. Marjorie is here. Hey, Marjorie. There's Cindy Kane. Hey, Cindy. Monica and Cindy Barnes. Cindy Barnes, Cindy Kane. Hey, there's my girl Cindy's. My Cindy girls. Dorothy Wink. Glad to see everybody. Come on in. Uh, again, tonight we're going to cook some deer chili. Uh, everybody get your pen and, piece, and piece of paper so you can write this uh, recipe down. We'll post it, of course. We always do. Uh, but it's a pretty simple little recipe. And uh, like I said, you can make it very mild or you can spice it up a little bit uh, up to your taste. Now, Nana Newell just said, hey, Mr. Taterbug, and hope you get a big one this weekend. Who was that? Nana Newell. Nana. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, first thing in the morning, headed for deer camp. The season open Saturday morning. Maybe we'll have some fresh deer. Now, it, oh, wait. It opens Saturday morning, but you're leaving tomorrow? Yes, we have work to do. I see. <laughs> Susie says, it's not Friday. I'm confused. She's yeah. laughing. <laughs> I've been confused all day. We've got some work to do at the, at the deer camp before we uh, can go hunting Saturday morning. Uh -huh. Hey, Charlotte, I see you there. Glad to see everybody coming in. Come on in. We're going to get started. Uh, if anybody has any questions, my beautiful assistant, Miss Lindy, is here. <laughs> she's sitting at the controls over there. So, hey, everybody. Uh, she's going to try to read your comments for me while I cook you some deer chili. Sue Davis. Hey, Sue. How are you? Linda, Linda Butler. Glad to see all of y'all. All right. Oh, now Marjorie says, my husband is jealous of all your venison recipes. He hasn't gotten a deer in seven years. Oh, my goodness. And Judy Zeppa just sent you 50 stars. Oh, Judy Zeppa. That's my girl. Thank you, Judy. Thank you very much. Sprinkle us around. Oh, Cindy, that's so sweet. Thank you. And there is, is it Rose Miller? Yeah. Yes. Nancy Simpson. Well... All right, we're going to get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a package of, of bacon. And I like to use thick sliced bacon. It's a pound, 16 ounces of bacon. And what we're going to do is, well, I just got my hands right in that, but I'm going to see. I don't know if y'all can see my skillet. I'm going to try to move this around a little bit so you can see the skillet there a little better. Can you see that all right, darling? Uh, it's going to have to catch up. Let me see. I believe so. Yeah. Oh, we're, they're all coming in now. All our friends. Yay. Hey, Wanda, Nancy, Jane, Janice, Rosa, Jody, Maria. Glad to have everybody. Kim. Well, we're going we're to take just kitchen scissors, and with this bacon, we're just going to cut it up into uh, like three quarters of an inch or one inch chunks. We're going to throw it in the skillet. Maria, you don't have to use deer for this. You can use any kind of meat that you want to. Ground turkey, ground That's beef. That's right. Yes, you yeah. can. This, this particular recipe was, uh, was uh, requested. Yeah, and he's going to take it to the cabin. So Yeah, so, yeah and that's the plan. I'm going to cook this. I'm not going to let my wife have any of it. <laughs> Susie, good luck to your guys, too. Good luck to everybody this weekend. Should be a good season. Our, we have uh, our trail cameras out there and we've had lots of pictures of deer, so we're really expecting good things this weekend. 
We need to restock our fri our freezer, don't we? We have been uh, cooking a lot of deer meat this year, but it's carried us all the way through the year with all we had in the, in the freezer. It sure has. It's been delicious. Just, just got, don't, I don't want to know about I just can't see faces or know about it. I love them too much. <laughs> I want to see a face in my scope. Jody, welcome. First time catching you all live. She's a newbie. I'm so glad you're here. Glad you're here, Jody. And what is Jody's last name? Smith. You, Smith. Jody, glad, Jody Smith, glad to have you. And I had a commercial break. Really, Sharon? Wow. Okay. A commercial he's a, break. He's uptown. <laughs> we already had a commercial? I guess we did. I don't know. On a live? I didn't know it would do that on a live. I didn't know it would do that on a live. Are they Dana? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, both of our sons used to hunt with him, but now one's in Colorado and one has an odd work schedule, so he doesn't get to go. Yeah, Rita, he does. Gotta restock that freezer. And Rose Miller made venice, chili with venison last week. She said, she'll try your version next time. Never thought to add bacon. Bacon really puts a good flavor in it. Oh, that was perfect timing, Teresa. She just had somebody drop off deer meat for her today. Oh, that's great. All right, let me... Uh... The sous chef candy, that would be Sarge. If she, either Sarge or Pete in the kitchen, Bo is very polite and he stays out of the kitchen, but... Um, oh, thank you, Dana. That's so sweet. Did they see a, a dog go through? If y'all watch our lives, Come you're here. always going to see dogs. We Come got here. three dogs here. and one cat. Right up here. You see, this is my Sarge right here. This is my German. He's a, actually, I think, a Malinois, but the same I think thing. he's probably more Malinois than anything he is. Yeah. Isn't. He's busy. Yeah, the price of meat, Teresa, is incredible. So it's been really great that he can stock our, our freezer with meat. Oh, All right. I didn't know that, Heidi. So bacon isn't good for dogs? I thought bacon was good for dogs. Bacon, bacon, bacon. I didn't know that. We try to research all that. It gives them a good shiny coat. They know what a big baby he is. They saw the video from the other night. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. He's, quit. Quit. <laughs> Don't be a baby. Oh, be did you, Nana? I'm so glad y'all are enjoying that spicy chicken soup. Oh, yeah. That is really good. That's uh, That's a... Long-time favorite of us around here, Lindy makes that so good. Actually, that's not. That's not right. Uh uh. Pete, <laughs> Pete had to call him down, and it hurt his feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Pete is the senior dog, and Sarge was just pouting because Pete was in the kitchen too with his daddy. Yeah, he's so in here jealous. with me, and Sarge doesn't like that. Oh. Uh. All oh, right, Melanie's we're... cooking the chicken soup right now. Wonderful! I'm gonna make it again this weekend. I think my mom enjoyed it so much. That's all, all right. right, Vanetta. We're glad you're here. While Grandma this bacon has... is cooking up here, I've got quite a skillet full of bacon. Um, we're gonna get our our trusty little chopper here because we need to chop up a whole onion. Um, Teresa, he's leaving early in the morning, so that's why he switched days on me real quick. Yeah. Oh, excuse me a minute while I clean this onion up. going to keep kind of turning this bacon over here and because I want it to 
get just a little crispy. They really showed out, didn't they, Janice? I, I'm glad I caught that video for y'all. They were so silly. All right, in our little chopper, all I'm going to do is quarter this onion, put it in there, and we're going to chop that up real good. In our fancy little chopper. Which is in our Amazon shop, in our link. Oh, Dolores has to have pork chops and sauerkraut tonight. Yeah. Hey, there's Trish. Trisha? Yeah, she's here live instead of texting me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bacon is cooking up. I'm sure you can probably hear that sizzling right now. Hey, Sherry and Rhonda. Wash that up. And once we get this bacon cooking pretty good here. Okay, hey, hey Eddie, I said, uh, it's, a, it's a bad night. This is not our usual night. He'll probably go back to uh, Thursday night. It's, it's church night. I'm very sorry, y'all. Oh, Yvonne, hey, there's Yvonne from Southern Designs and Fun. Hello, Yvonne. And there's Angela from Word and Home. Oh, y'all come on in. Angela Glad to have all of y'all. Yeah, we're up. Uh, oh, it's a John sticks in Chili too. She was, she said she wished she saw it earlier. She'd have added bacon to hers. Yeah. Um, yes, uh, again, the reason we're cooking tonight, uh, this weekend is opening deer season weekend, or opening season for gun. So it's a, it, that's kind of a big deal. And I'm going to try to get to uh, camp a little early. And we've got some things that we got to do around camp. So that we're ready to go Saturday morning. So I'm cooking tonight, so I can leave tomorrow. And uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'll be back Thursday nights from now on, uh, either at 5:30 or 6 o'clock. So we kind of get uh, everybody uh, acclimated to the right times here. Bacon is cooking up. Once we get that, once it starts browning, we're going to uh, drop in uh, this whole onion that's diced. Uh, we're going to add three tablespoons of uh, minced garlic, which I've already got minced in my little jar here. I think Lindy's about to, once the bacon starts popping, she usually starts running. Bacon is cooking a little bit. I told them once the bacon starts cooking, you usually start running. Oh, once it starts don't popping. Don't talk to my son. <laughs> yes, he's, he's not he's not camera ready, and he's a little particular about that, Cindy. But I think you know he's. Um, I know he has a lot of trouble with this weather, and uh, like his mama does. Unfortunately, he got it from me, and uh, so he's. He's not feeling great, but he's okay. Oh, Michelle, that's so sweet. She said, we don't mind. We enjoy you cooking for us no matter what night. Oh, thank you. Who was that? Michelle. Uh, last name Witkowski? Uh -huh. Michelle Witkowski. You know, I know those names. Michelle, thank you. Glad to have you here. I'm afraid he's leaving me to fend for myself or go hungry, Heidi. And and I tend to go hungry when he's gone. I'm, I'm lost without him anymore. Yeah, she also has to deal with my big old German shepherd. Yeah, I have to babysit. And, uh, but Chris is here with me, too, so that's nice. All right, a bacon when is When he's beginning. not at work. Bacon's beginning to brown pretty good for us here. It's just going to let it cook another couple of minutes. Okay, Rose says she wants to see lots of pictures from this weekend. Lots of pictures. Oh, you'll be sorry you asked for that, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> we'll post them, though. Yeah, because uh, some people don't mind seeing those pictures, but some do, so... Uh, no, none of that. No, I'm not posting any of the other <laughs> pictures. If they're pretty landscape from your deer stand, that's 
Oh, okay. oh, okay. I can do that. Sometimes I get some really pretty uh, sunrise pictures. Yeah, Betty. I, I know. I can make my own coffee, but I don't. It's never. I told him it never tastes as good as when he fixes it. <laughs> it doesn't. All right, our bacon is cooked up pretty good. Now, let me let me clarify something right at this point. I'm about to dump this gr this grease again. Last week, there was some question about where that bacon grease went, but that bacon grease went into a can. I let it cool, and then I transfer it to a, a glass jar. And he it, keeps the can in the sink. It does not go in the sink. No. I, I have a jar here that I keep bacon grease in. So what I do is I take this over to the sink, and I put it in the metal can so that it can cool a little bit. Once it's cooled a little bit before it really gels, I put it in the glass jar and put that in the refrigerator because we use that to cook later. I so, did, Rosa, let me tell you, I do love seeing deer pictures. I just like to see them when they're alive. <laughs> I, I don't want to see anything else. I'm, and I'm serious, but the, all of his brothers know that too. They know. Don't let Wendy see any of that. Cause all right, y'all. Here's the can. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the can. can it's going in the, in the sink. I don't want y'all to think that went down the drain. Right, right. I had a lot of comments that I, I fielded last time he cooked. They thought he poured it down the drain. And I, no, he puts it in the sink just in case anything splatters or spills, you know. So. Well, it also needs to cool, you see. Well, and yeah, it cools in that can until he can put it in that glass jar. Oh, Yvonne, that would be the coolest thing. I wish we had them in our backyard like y'all do. That would be so cool. Yeah. All right. I left a little bit of that uh, fat down in that bacon. I'm going to add my onion. He has, Heidi. Yes, he showed me. And Betty said she doesn't mind. You can send her the after picture. She don't care. She's tough. Betty Sargent? Yes. Uh, yeah, Betty's my, she's my buddy. She, uh, she can take it. <laughs> Well, she's, she has dealt with the meat a lot longer than I have. I, yeah, I, well, uh, that's a good question, Dana. How long does, you know, y'all, I go back, we're Southern, and um, our grandmothers kept it in an aluminum can on top of the stove. And it said, always. and it said grease on it. It said grease. I don't think that grease can ever went in the fridge. But Dana wants to know how long bacon grease will last in the fridge. Uh, it lasts forever. I think it I don't know. It didn't kill any of us. But yeah, it, it was out forever. It will go rancid. I know it will go rancid. So you've got to just, in there a smell? Well, the thing is, that back then they used that grease a whole in all kinds of different so it was never getting old it never had time but if you put it in the refrigerator i really think it would last gosh I, I, two three weeks easily you know, Betty says a long time i would sure think so all right we've got our onion in here we're going to add this is Oh, Three. Teresa. i'm sorry i'm reading comments are we sorry. cooking or talking i'm oh, sorry i'm gonna <laughs> This is three tablespoons of garlic mince. And my wife will probably want that little, cute little jar. I to, do. To see this cute little jar, you'll probably. They would all want it. All the crafters know. You'll you probably craft with that one. You don't throw those away. <laughs> I know, Cusy. I'm sorry. He's leaving me tomorrow morning for opening deer season. So he's cooking tonight. Yeah. This should be a one-time. Trish. <laughs> Trish said. Daddy used to cook frog legs for me for breakfast. <laughs> I do not I'd doubt love it. to have some frog legs for breakfast. That'd be I great. know her dad. I knew her daddy, and I don't doubt it one bit. All right, I know this doesn't look very oh. scrumpy right now. Scrummy. Betty, this... that's a, that's what you put in green beans. I know. You add that bacon grease to green beans. Oh, yeah, anything. green beans and all kinds of things. Oh, yes. We're going to let that come up a little bit. And once that comes up, we're gonna do a little set aside here. Is Penny Williams here? No, Penny had a prior engagement tonight. Uh, again? She'll probably be watching on replay. So well, she's... Penny, just for you, we're gonna set this aside here in just a minute. Yeah, a lot of y'all use that bacon grease. If, if my daddy made me 
hold anything. That, well, my daddy couldn't have killed anything. I'll tell you that. He was like me about animals. But <laughs> if I had to, I'd cry the whole time and I would be scarred. I, I can't. And I'm not, well, I guess I am a girly girl, but. All right. Michelle says, how much deer meat did you use in this recipe? Two pounds. Because we're going to put that in a big old crock pot. Not stock. a crock pot. Stock pot. So what I'm going to do here, this is, this onion is beginning to clear just a little bit, and that's what we want. We want it to just begin to turn clear in there in this bacon with the, the garlic. And the, the garlic, I'm sure you can feel this, or smell, is becoming a little fragrant there. All the scents working together are magnificent. I quite, I quite like that. I quite like that. I quite like that. I quite like that. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Yvonne says, have you ever added some honey mustard to your chili? Well, not in this Ooh, not in this particular good. recipe. No, I've never used honey mustard myself. But I think that's a great idea too, Rita. I might right. have to try that. We are going to transfer this to this big stock pot. We're gonna just get this out of this skillet for now because we need to use the skillet to brown the deer meat. And if all goes well, I will not make a huge mess here. Uh, Sue is a little late. Tell her what all was in that pan that you just dumped. Uh, we just, we took a pound of bacon, we cut it up into one inch strips, put it in a skillet, uh, and brown that all up. We put uh, one whole onion diced in there and then three tablespoons of gar uh, minced garlic in there. Now we're gonna cook the deer sausage, which we have right here. This is a big two pound log of deer sausage. Isn't that wonderful? Look at that. Teresa, my mom used to have to hold the chickens for my grandmother too. My grandmother would would wring a chicken's neck in a heartbeat. They, that's what they ate. I mean, they grew their own food, all of it. Yeah, and they didn't have all the bad sickness we got no, back then. No, my either. grandmother lived well into her 90s, and her grandmother lived to be 103. So. I'm just going to separate this sausage a bit here and let it begin to brown. Oh, that's a good idea, Vaughn. Yeah, it helps her to cut the spiciness. So if it's too spicy for Jody, you could just add some honey mustard. Oh, well, here's what I'm going to do. This, this sausage is not very spicy, and I am cooking this for deer camp, and my brother Jody uh, really has a problem with peppers and spices, and uh, uh, so I'm, I'm making this kind of mild. So when we post this recipe, uh, there, there are suggestions on there for, like, I'm going to be using some diced tomatoes in here. Uh, you can use Rotel or some, like, some fire-roasted uh, diced tomatoes. Uh, add, it calls for three uh, tablespoons of chili powder. Well, I'm going to cut that back to one, just because I need to make it a little mild. So what I want you to do is, if you make this and when you make this, <laughs> use your discretion. I'm watching you on the laptop and all I see is hard one. Oh. <laughs> I, see, I see what y'all saw. That's funny. I was going to say, what was I saying that was so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I can scale fish. I can bait a hook. I can take the fish off the hook. I can scale and clean a fish. But I could not do it with a mammal. I don't know why I can do it with a fish, but I can't do it with anything else. Yeah. Well, anyway, back to what I was saying. Sorry, y'all. You can spice this up however you like, because what I'm going to show you tonight is going to be a very mild version of it. So use your own taste buds. Uh, salt, pepper, chili powder. Uh, add some jalapeno to it if you want. But. <laughs> no, it's on. He's cooking for the deer camp. <laughs> she said... She thought she was going to cook for me. You were going to cook for me, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't starve this way. No, I'm on my own. Well, she's going to be on her own. She'll have to make her own coffee and everything. I don't, I know. don't know how long. I don't know how she's going to make it. So how many of you have watched the great British cook-off? Thank you. They we are so hooked. 
We've been watching that, and it's 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 funny. It's fun to watch. It's it. We've been binging it, and uh, at we, night. Yeah, we only get to. Yeah, that's our that's our guilty pleasure at night. After everything's shut down, we get to watch a couple of episodes of that. Oh, Dolly's here. I better watch out. She said, "Hey, sweet shakes, looking good there, handsome." Hey, Dolly, baby. <laughs> She can make me blush in a minute, can't she? Yeah, she can. <laughs> she sure can. Oh, Dolores, I I actually use Starbucks coffee, but I use it at home. I I brew my own, but it doesn't ever taste quite as good as when he makes it with love. So. Yeah, I tell her the difference is I make her coffee with love. She just makes coffee. Unless I'm making it for you. Yeah, we're spoiled, Susie. Good. Um, Yvonne said, she called her husband Mr. Wonderful, and uh, she said Mr. Wonderful watches the Great British Bake Off. Why don't you, you don't watch it or mine? We're walking around trying to talk in a British accent all the time now. I quite like it. <laughs> I, I quite fancy this. I fancy this. <laughs> I find it quite scrummy. When they said scrummy, when Mary said scrummy last night, we just about died. Yeah, we about both. And then, it's so funny, uh, one day, one of our friends here local, he went over there to her house to pick something up, and he gave her a hug. And she texted me, and she said she felt like she got a handshake from Paul Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what that meant at the time, but I got it. Yeah, we learned that, didn't we? Yeah. All right, we're, we're just adding a little salt and pepper here while this cooks and browns. Deb, I totally understand. Our TV is never on except at night, and we stream. We don't watch any regular TV, so we just found this we show on Netflix. Um, certainly don't watch the local news. Like, yeah, we don't watch any TV, any regular TV. We just stream whatever we want to see. Oh, I wish I was, Dolly. Although Moidel doesn't cook anymore, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'll starve over there too. Alright, we're just trying to get our, our meat browned up here. We're gonna kind of chop it up, which means I gotta get my little fancy chopper out. Uh, Linda, if you I understand about the deer meat, I truly do. So you can use uh, ground beef, tur ground turkey, whatever suits Ground your chuck, ground beef, yeah, ground any, turkey. Whatever works in your this recipe will work, yeah. If you really want it to be good, get some ground sirloin. Connie says, tell her about those salt and pepper shakes. Who said that? Connie. Connie? Connie, these are, the name on it is Leighton Epicure. Um, this, is a, this was a Christmas gift. They're both little uh, battery-operated grinders. Okay. It's even got a little light on the bottom so you can see what you're doing. Push the button and it grinds the salt. Push the button and it grinds the pepper. Those are in our uh, Amazon link. I said at the link that's pinned to the top of our tater bugging page, we've got that in our favorites. We try to make it easy for y'all. Yeah, those things that, that she and I use here. Uh, this is a, a little chopper. It's in there too. Uh, it's in our, our Amazon page. Trish said, you are so pretty flipping your deer. Trish, <laughs> don't even start, Trish. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, it's browning up pretty good. Sorry for the noise. We'll let that, that's going to be so good. Hello, Cindy. Now, once we, uh, once we get the, the, Deer sausage uh, browned here. We're going to add it to the bacon and onion and all, and then we're going to be adding some tomato sauce, some kidney beans, some. Um, we've also got uh, diced tomatoes. We're going to add some chili powder, some cumin, some onion powder. We're going we're going to dress it up real good, and it's going to be wonderful. And we're going to enjoy it this weekend. I won't. <laughs> Lindy says she doesn't want anything to do with this. 
No, I mean, it's going to be leaving my house, so I won't get any of it. That's okay. It kind of does, doesn't he, Angela? She says, Mr. Taterbuggin has a fan club. I want to know where all those ladies that were that were flinging stars at you the other night. Yeah, they are. Oh, my goodness. Hadn't seen, hadn't seen the, the stars. Judy said on the... I agree, Michelle. That chopper is awesome. It's a pretty cool little guy. Oh, Carmella, were you scarred for life? Oh, bless your heart. I don't think I'd have ever gotten over that. Uh, honestly, I was such a sensitive kid, especially. I don't think I'd have ever gotten over that. All right, that's pretty close. Okay, Rita Burmeister said, I also add clamato juice. Love it. Is that? What is it? Clamato juice. Hmm, I've not heard of that before. I've not used that before. Does, does it have anything to do with clams? Yeah, Trish is asking too. All right. This is ready to transfer. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our stock pot onto our burner here. And that stock pot's going to heat up pretty quick, so I'm going to get this meat in there. Stock pot's so much thinner than... All right. Wow, I did that without too bad of mistakes there. All right, before this burns, we're going to add two cans. Uh, it's like 16 ounces of tomato sauce. You can use a big can if you want to. We're going to add a large can of diced tomatoes with the juice. You want to keep all the juice in this now. We're going to add... Marie said, do you put green bell peppers in your chili? He left them out this time. Left them out intentionally because okay. Jody can't take the, the green peppers. Yeah. Uh, this is just a mild chili, uh, chili beans. You can use hot beans if you want, and that kind of helps uh, spice it up a little bit. I'm going to have to turn that burner down. Oh, that's a deal, Sue. That was a fine. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to add a 15-ounce can of kidney beans, again, with the juice. We need all of those juices, all of those flavors in there. I knew you are going to have cans to craft with. <laughs> I don't think I have that many can crafts right now, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to switch to it. Hi, Suzanne. Suzanne's here. here now. How are you doing, Suzanne? That is a big old pot of chili. Yep. Now, if, if this is not juicy or wet enough for you. You can add some water. You can even add a little chicken stock, which is what I'm probably going to do here because I see this is a little on the dry side. We are going to add uh, a teaspoon and a half of cumin. Joyce said she's always been told to drain the kidney beans. Oh, I've never drained them. Oh, well, I mean, uh, for I do a spaghetti, chili spaghetti recipe, and I never drain them. Well, some people drain those because they have a, a lot of sodium in them. Um, I, oh. I don't. Okay. Oh, Michelle says this should be called ooh darn deer, deer chili. Yeah, it should, shouldn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm adding about a tablespoon of onion powder, even though we've got chopped onions in there. And then we're going to add a tablespoon, one tablespoon, of chili powder. Again, 
However you want to spice this up. I love Dump this jar, this jar in there if you want to, I guess, but I can't do that. Love my brother. I, I need him around. So I'm going to put that in there. We may, we may spice that up a little bit. Look out. Deborah sent you stars. Deborah! There's some stars. There's some stars. Thank you, Deborah. And Dolly sent you stars. Dolly did too? Yes. Now, y'all, I was just joking, but y'all are sweet. That's sweet. He, he's, Very sweet. What did you say? You were going to use those stars to... I forgot what you said. I forgot what I said I was going to use them. But he, he'll use them on y'all. Yep. Yeah, Candy, I can't know where it comes from, but... I, you know, because I love deer, but I do love to eat them if I don't have to see it happen. <laughs> All right, y'all excuse me a minute. I'm trying to find my chicken. Yeah, I agree, Teresa. I just usually love the flavor. There's a lot of that flavor in the bean juice. No, Dolly, no. You know, my mom had a pet rabbit. Well, she thought it was a pet rabbit. Of course, she lived on a farm, and it was her rabbit. And she came home from school one day to a stew and her rabbit was gone. It took her a while to put two and two together, but I think it scarred her a little bit. All right, I put about, oh, I'm gonna empty that in there. It's mm -hmm. about, about a cup or so of chicken stock in there to make this a little soupier. Oh, Sam, I love Andy Griffin. And I'm gonna add a little bit more of of some kosher salt, some and we're gonna let this now simmer a little while. Is Tiffany here? Kathy Watkins just sent you stars. Who did? Kathy Watkins. Kathy Watson? Watkins. Watkins. Kathy Watkins, excuse me. My grandmother was a Watkins. That's right, that's part of the family, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know what that means? What? No, it's 300. Oh, it's 300. Okay. 300 for the here. jig. Hey, Tiffany. Tiffany Temple's here. You know Tiffany. Yes, Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. Long time no see. Yeah, he hit 200. Yeah, he was going for 300 Thursday night. We were a little close. Darlene Thompson said, yeah, we're over 200. Dolly, what's Dolly Smith said? That's a long... I, a, that was a long little comment there, and I couldn't catch it. While that's simmering, I'm going to kind of tidy up a little bit. Well, Dolly, I, I know what you're saying. It, it's happened to me by accident. Oh, thank you, Sam. That's so sweet. <laughs> Rita says, I think tonight it should be a 200 jig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's stingy with his jig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One final ingredient that we're going to add to this too, now that I've got it uh, wet enough. Hi, Celia. We are going to add a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. Yeah, there's Petey, Trish. Down there. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. And we're going to stir that in there and let that mix in. This is going to come to a simmer here pretty quickly. Yay, Debbie finally caught the mister. Yay. Who's that? Debbie. Debbie, thank you for catching me. Yeah, it, it is a secret, Heidi. I'm telling you. Makes it harder on us. I wish we knew the rules. That's okay, Carrie. I'm just happy you're here. I had a fabulous birthday. Thanks to all of y'all wonderful people. Now, Deborah wants to know why you put brown sugar. Take some of that sharpness out. Oh, is that it? Oh, I wondered that too. And Dana says you gotta have the sweetness. See, I'm not a true cook. I don't know the set, whys and hows. And... Gotta have the sweetness to offset the sharpness. Hey, Sandra, where'd 
doing great here. How are you? All right, we're gonna let that simmer for a few minutes and then it'll be ready to taste test. Oh yeah. No. She's gonna do I it. I have not had a good tummy day. She's I'm not gonna... taste testing <laughs> chili tonight. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Who is that with all the hearts? Oh, that's right, Dolly. Dolly said you're gonna use those stars to buy groceries to cook with. That's right. Yeah, that's what. We're gonna use those stars to finance our deer trips. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, in one way or another, they're coming back to y'all. We're sure of that. That's right, one way or the other. And Kristen adds the sugar to take the bitterness out of it. Yeah. That's what I mean. Perfect. Yeah. Sweetness to take away the, the bitter. Absolutely. All right. That is about to come to a, a good simmer. Now, this is better when it simmers for a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and taste a little bit of it. Well, just a good chef does taste their cooking. Just so you can see what it looks like, and, and we need to get a picture of it too. I can tell you how it tastes. Oh, we love you too, Kristen. I hope you're doing okay. Susie's gonna make this this weekend because it looks so good. This is good. Lindy will, Lindy will post the uh, uh, recipe here later tonight or either first thing in the morning. Uh, let me get some cheese. Yeah, I had a friend say something that was so, you know, it, it was not, but she, uh, Facebook jail. I can't say anything live or it's gonna, they'll take it down real fast. Oh, good, Sandra, thank you. Sam uses those beans too. There are people who, those you know, beans? there are people who will not eat chili with beans, and there are those that only want. I only want beans in my chili, and I love the cheese and sour cream. Oh, it's good. All right. Got it. Do you want a scoop, a Frito scoop? Yeah, that'd be great. Those are good too. Yeah, this is beginning to simmer real good, y'all. Oh, that's gonna be so good. That's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Oh, your sister said never tried cannellini beans in addition to the kidney beans. Well, sometimes I put pinto beans in with those. No, she said uh, cannellini. I know. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say, but but sometimes I put in black beans with the kidney beans, and sometimes use uh, pinto beans. His sister, Anne Marie, is an excellent cook, too. Excellent cook. Him, Rhonda, bless your heart. There's a woman after my own heart. She said, is he making cornbread to go with the chili? That, oh, yeah. That's what I said. We should have made cornbread. Oh, my word. I love it. Yes. Need some cornbread, right, Cindy? Hey, Mayor. Better late than never. I love your recipe of your grandmother. Oh. All right. Dear Chili. Can you see that good? Dana Glass let, gave you stars and she said, you better leave her a bowl, Mr. T, so she will post the recipe. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now take your phone out right now before you stick that spoon in there and take a picture for me. Okay. We, we got to have our picture to post with our recipe. Carmela, mine has two, and I have to be real careful with chili. And my reflux acted up today for the very first time in a long time, so I am not going to even taste it. All right, let's see if this tastes any good at all. Cornbread, yes. Ooh, Tommy, that's, yes, Frito chili pie. Mmm. Is that so good? Did you do, is it ooh darn? Ooh darn. We would, Kathy, but his brother, he's taking it to the deer camp this weekend. His brother cannot do peppers. We love spicy, but his brother can't eat spicy. We do. If this were, were for us, we'd spice it up a little bit more. That is really good. Is it good? 
put some Fritos in there and have a Frito with that. Me that too, is... Dolly. Me too. Mmm. We can taste the cumin. Mm. We can taste the bacon in there. <laughs> Carrie. The onion. You always catch me on those days. I told him tonight before he started, I said, I don't think I'm even going to eat supper. And Carrie caught me. Uh, I used to have a terrible time with it, Dana, years ago, and it got under control with the daily medication, but I only have it every now and then. I don't know what today was about, but. You got to make this. <laughs> this is good. Mm. Fritos is good, but that's what he's doing, Do Dolly. Listen, this is a woman after your own heart. She said she loves cheese, sour cream, and Fritos to scoop with. There you go. Some sour cream would be great in there, too. Oh, that's great, Rita. I love that. He, her dad used to always say, got a good do on it. That's right. I quite fancy this. I quite fancy. It's quite scrummy. <laughs> it's quite scrummy. All right. We've taken up 45 minutes of your time and given you a good meal. Uh, you know what? We do... Simple meals for you so it doesn't take a lot of time and doesn't take a lot of prep. Get you some beer, uh, some deer sausage. Get you, get some, you some beer. <laughs> get you some beer too. I, I'd love to have a beer with that. Um, some deer. Uh, get you, you can use deer burger. You can use deer sausage. You can use ground beef. You can use ground chuck, ground sirloin. You could even use ground turkey. But make you a batch of this for everybody. Uh, you know, the weather's turning cold now, so this would be really good to settle back in with your blanket and watch us cook something else. There you go. I love that. So he was going to take my time tomorrow. Thank you for all the hearts. Look at all the Look hearts. Look at all the hearts. Um, and he was going to take my time tomorrow, but since he moved his time, I'll be on tomorrow at four, and then I'll be on with my sister in love on Southern Vintage Company's page to do their live tomorrow night. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. You do Southern Vintage tomorrow night. I like, do. Don't you? We're doing our sales show tomorrow night. So, any of you that want to haven't watched that and want to come on and uh, see what we do there, you know, when me and my sister get together, it's always a fun time. So. Don't forget our store, uh, where we have all of our wares. It's taterbuggin.myshopify.com. And You're a pro. <laughs> he got out there and whipped y'all up those four ladder trays. I put four ladder tier, uh, ladder tier trays in there today, and they sold immediately. They're gone. So as soon as I'm back from uh, deer camp, I am going to... Okay. Somebody's uh, at the door. Sorry, y'all. Probably. It's Amazon. It's probably Zazon. It's Zazon. Uh, as soon as I'm back from Deer Camp, I'll, I'll make some more tear trays next week, try to get those in there. So those of you that would like to have one of those, uh, keep watching because, uh, you know, it takes a little time to make those. So I try to put uh, a few of those in a week. I'll have some in there He's, uh, yeah, middle of next week. Because you're caught up on the other orders so far. Well, um, unless until today. The, unless they make they. Order some more things for it from us. Thank you, Teresa. Thank y'all for being here. We do thank you. We love you. You, we appreciate your support and being here with us every uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday night, whatever it is, and with Lindy on her days. But thanks again. We're gonna scoot, and uh, we will see you. Uh, I'll see you next weekend. Lindy's gonna do you uh, live tomorrow. Tomorrow at 4, I'll be back Sunday at 4, and Trish may be here this weekend. Y'all are the first to hear that, so you may get another special guest Sunday. Yeah. My best friend may be here, so. that would be fun. All right, well, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. We will see you next week. Love y'all. Goodbye.